Okay, so this is uh, question two from a set of questions that you had sent me. So read out the question. A uniform ladder 15 feet long is leaning against a frictionless wall at an angle of 53 degrees above the horizontal. The weight of the ladder is 30 pounds. A 75 pound boy climbs six feet up the ladder. What is the magnitude of the frictional force exerted on the ladder by the floor? So they're saying what is the magnitude of the frictional force exerted by the ladder on the ladder by the floor. So they're asking us for this force. So this is the free body diagram of the ladder that I just drew out of ladder. So that's just all the forces acting on the ladder since the wall is frictionless. That's just a normal force, which is at 90 degrees with the wall. That's the weight of the ladder. That's the weight of the boy. There's the frictional force from the floor on the ladder, and there's a normal force on the ladder. So immediately when you see this, you you want to analyze for what are the forces in the x direction? What are the forces in the y direction? And immediately I see that the forces in the x direction, there, there are just two. There's FR. So if I use the formula sum of all forces, then x equals zero. Why is it equal to zero? It's usually equal to mass times acceleration, but it's zero because the ladder isn't moving, right? It's a, it's static equilibrium. So FR is positive, minus FH would be zero. So FR equals FH, which means this force is equal to that force, right? So that immediately tells me that if I'm looking for, I was out of view for a second. So if I'm looking for FR, I, I could find FH, or if I'm looking for FH, I could find FR. So now, to find this, I could just find this. And how do I find this? It'd be it, it would be convenient for me to find this if I found the torque, sum of all torques about this point, which would el eliminate these two unknowns. And I could find that. So if I did sum of all torques equals zero about the ground contact point, right? ground contact point then I get the torques due to these two guys are zero now so I have torque due to this torque due to this and torque due to that torque due to FH plus torque due to uh, the weight of the ladder plus torque due to the weight of the boy equals zero what's torque due to that torque due to that would be F H right now this is the point about which I'm rotating this is the length of the ladder so I can do F H you see that so it's going to be F H times what's the length of the ladder the length of the ladder is 15 feet so F H times 15 F H times 15 times sine of the angle between the force and the length of the ladder and what is that angle if I extend this force this angle and this angle are going to be the same right so it's going to be sine 53 how is it spinning it it's spinning it counterclockwise so it's positive plus what's torque of m uh, of torque due to the weight of the ladder that's going to be the force which is mass of the ladder times g times the length and what is the length the length is a uh, half way up the ladder so it's 7.5 again it's rotating the ladder clockwise this is rotating clockwise so it's negative and it's going to be sine what's the angle here if I extend it this is 90 this is 53 this would be 37 degrees so sine 37 degrees plus What's the torque due to the weight of the kid? It's going to be the weight, 75 times times the length from the point of reference. And the point of reference, right? I never, I never explicitly said that, but that's our point of reference. That's the point about which we're rotating this ladder or we're visualizing the rotation. This distance is 7 feet up the ladder, I believe. I think it was 7 feet. Uh, 6 feet up the ladder, right? So he's six feet up the ladder, so it's going to be 75 times six. That's going to be negative again. It's a spin counterclockwise. Sine, again, the angle would be 37 degrees equals zero. And now we can solve for FH 
it's the only unknown if you find fh that's going to be equal to our frictional force fh equals fr hope that made sense um just to recap on what we did first step draw the free body once you have all the forces set out only one force due to frictionless wall there's a friction uh there's a frictional force here there's a new normal force here there's for the weight there's the weight of the ladder the weight of the kid and we use sum of all x is equal zero we get fr equals fh so it is only necessary for us to find fh and that would give us fr and that g brings us up brings us to the idea of using torques so you use torque about this point because there are three unknowns if i use make this my point of reference and spin the ladder around here then i know that these two would go to zero so do sum of torques about this point and that would give me torque due to this plus torque due to this plus torque due to that write it all out only one unknown you find fh you find fh you got fr hope hope that